At the age of three, he lost his father, and 20 years later, he lost his mother. But this gentleman, who grew up in a time when the Persian Empire was on the ascendant, he has a marvelous story that historians have captured. I'm talking about the one and only Confucius. And uh, looking at this particular book, Confucius on Leadership, written by John Adair, is a very powerful statement because this is the book that I'll be reading across the week. And uh, just to get your attention on this, on page 168, it says, At 15, I set my heart on learning. If you have a teenager there, if you're a teenager watching this particular video, you have it there. As a teenager, that's a season for you to begin learning about what life is all about. Yes, there is the part of enjoying and partying, but you can borrow a leaf here that for Confucius, at 15, he set his heart on learning. Listen to this. At 30, I found my balance through the rights. By the time you get to 30, you really want to establish the balance in your life so that you're not necessarily living a life that has no purpose or direction, but you have an absolute understanding of the balance that you need in your life. Now listen to this. At 40, I was free from doubts about myself. By the time you get to 40 years, you really want to be absolutely sure about what you want to do in life absolutely sure about where you're going. At 50, I understood what heaven intended me to do. Now this is where basically you realize that life is not just about where you are, the earthly things that you can touch and see, but you're beginning to see beyond your life on earth, beyond your generation. And at 60, I was attuned to what I heard. At 70, I followed with my heart what my heart desired without overstepping the line. Just from that statement, I really want to read this particular book. And of course, I've watched his movie. Uh, it's a movie you can find on YouTube, uh, you know, acted by Cho Yun Fat, an amazing movie, Confucius, and you get all these lessons. It's about learning here on a book a week. So let's meet next time for the review of the same.